Hi, this is Dr. Donald Pelto. I have a patient here with this interesting device. It's called a Dynasplint. It's actually for people that uh, have plantar fasciitis or Achilles tendonitis or some type of a spur uh, in the heel region. And it typically is used as, as an option for, for treating it uh, to help stretch the foot. As you can see, it's, it's holding the foot at about a neutral position right now, but it actually takes him to the end range of motion. And if you look at the side, there's a, a little number here. It, it shows here on the side, it's at a number three right now. And uh, it can go all the way up to 13 in terms of the amount of tension that it has on the side of this device. And he'll be using it as much as he can at nighttime to kind of stretch it as he's sitting down. If he wants to increase the tension, there's this little uh, kind of a screwdriver and you put the screwdriver right up on the top and you put it in there. It's very easy to kind of lace on and this is something for once again plantar fasciitis or Achilles tendonitis. It starts, doesn't have any pain when he starts wearing it, but as he increases it, it's going to provide more and more tension and hopefully reduce the inflammation. This isn't always the, the first line. Usually we try in physical therapy and this was actually recommended by one of the physical therapists that I that I work with as a, as a good means for dealing with this. Once again, just as a review for plantar fasciitis, there's also treatments with uh, cortisone injections and with uh, stretching, icing, taping, physical therapy, anti-inflammatories. And then if something like this uh, is effective, that's great. If he continues to have pain, we may consider a topaz or a plantar fasciotomy in terms of surgical procedures for this patient. Hi, this is Dr. Donald Pelto. Here you can see a patient that actually has a callus on the bottom of the foot, and in the center of the callus there's a little black dot, and that's what we're concerned about having a ulcer down there. And uh, we're going to be uh, showing you the picture next after we debride it and uh, how we're treating it.